<laughs> All right, thank goodness it's Connecticut. You know, I gotta be really honest with you, Kara, and the audience. I had a really tough assignment last week. Yeah, I heard. You went to Brookfield, right? Yep, to do a I story. I hear there's chocolate there. <laughs> I did a story on Bridgewater chocolate, and it was tough, but somebody had to do it. I walked away five pounds heavier, but I also have a new appreciation for how some of the best chocolate in the world is made, and it's made right here in Connecticut. Thank you for bringing some back. Take a look. Hi, everybody. Scott Haney. Ho, ho, ho. Just in time for the holidays, we're talking about chocolate as a wonderful gift. And that's why we've come to Bridgewater Chocolate in Brookfield for some of the finest chocolate in the world. This is remarkable what's behind us, Eric. I've never seen it. This is literally a trail mix on a trail. See, yes, so it, it, it developed from what we call our, our standard bark, which we, which we have all year round, which we call the kitchen sink bark, and it's just that. It's a lot of ingredients. But for the holidays, we make it in, bridge, in white chocolate, make it in white chocolate with a holiday type of fruit, such as cranberry or orange peel, uh, two types of California raisins, and then we, we put it in cello bags, it looks so pretty, uh, and we even put uh, um, red cranberries on top. That's the owner and founder of Bridgewater Chocolate, Eric Landegren. So here we're ready to spread the Christmas bark, and it has to be done fairly quick, because when the chocolate is ready, it will harden up in about five to six minutes. So if we wait too long, it will be like cement. If we don't wait enough, it will be like soup. The business was started 26 years ago in the village shop in Bridgewater, but as the company grew and larger facilities were needed, Eric moved the company a short distance away to Brookfield. CEO Jeff Stokel tells us more. The origins of Bridgewater are really, uh, it's kind of a really beautiful story, both in chocolate and in family. Um, Eric was a really talented Swedish chef who moved to New York City to start a restaurant called Aquavit. And long story short, um, he ended up uh, finding out that he was going to have triplet daughters. And the restaurant world was a pretty fast paced uh, world with many, many late nights. So he started working as a private chef to have a little bit more free time leading up to having triplet daughters and then um, made chocolate as sort of on the side. And then after doing that for quite some time, it became a business and he realized that he could have, you know, a really great family and a really great chocolate company all at the same time. And that was a better life than running a restaurant. So that was the founding story of Bridgewater Chocolate. So Christmas, of course, is, is our biggest season and the most fun season because we get to do so many different things, among others, all the novelties. I, I absolutely love it. And with Kelly, that carries all our molds. We do about 20,000 molds for Christmas, and she does pretty much every single one of them. She's fantastic. So we like to do it the old-fashioned way. I love the handmade look and the, the fact that every mold has its own unique uh, look. Crunchy, creamy peppermints are coming down the line just a few feet away, and boy, do they look good. They are very delicately filled with a soft mint filling. Super popular for the, for the holiday time. Rebecca, do you think they'd miss one if, uh, if uh, you know, I took one? <laughs> well, thank you. From the crunchy, creamy peppermints, we move into the world of truffles. So what we do here, uh, I just put the chocolate in the bag, and what we do here is what we call the one-shot depositing. In, in, that's our new way we make truffles, and we're really, really excited about it. It's a wonderful way to get a perfect balance between chocolate and ganache filling in our truffles, and we do it all in one shot. You'll see when it's done how delicate it is, and, and, and yet you see how the perfect balance is between the chocolate and filling. So today we're doing hazelnut truffles, at Bridgewood Chocolate, we do only eight different flavors at all times. And for certain, certain periods of, of year, we do other flavors as well. Right now, we do, we do a fruit assortment truffles, but our standard is eight different truffles. As you can see, James has started the process, and then Eric fills in the molds, all done by hand. It's an enormous amount of, uh, of handmade products that we, that we have and, and make. Here's the finished product. And Eric. Do you need someone to try those? I think we would be very happy if you would try one. Would just, you please? I just take a hand. I just, I just oh, want to make sure have? that they're good. <laughs> I think it's important. Oh, very good. Keep going. <laughs> Packaging the chocolate is next, which is also an incredible process. Eric, look at this. Absolutely beautiful. So. Yeah, so just like everything else that we do, we try to put a lot of, lot of emphasis on 
not only the handmade part of making a box of chocolate for our customers, but sure it, it gets the attention to detail that we would like if we received it. So as you see, can see, everything is hand packaged and we have chosen to do little wax papers rather than the normal cups because this way you see the product more and we feel like this is a beautiful way to get the, get the chocolate when it arrives at the recipient's hands. They've even perfected a way to make sure the bow on the packaging doesn't get crushed in delivery. We ship all over the world, mostly domestically, but all over the world. And because we do, and most shipments are a gift, we put a lot of effort into making sure that the customer gets a box of chocolate exactly the way it leaves here. Could you, could you just die from all of that chocolate? I mean, just so I mean, beautiful. Seriously. And I do love their story. And it's wonderful. It's a Connecticut company. So Some of the best they've chocolate got three I've locations. Yeah, three locations to choose from. Two in Brookfield and the other is in West Hartford Center. If you'd like more information, head to BridgewaterChocolate.com. You know, Kara, it's been a pleasure working with you this week. Oh, it's always a pleasure with you. Thank you so much. Are you going to um, sing a little because you're working on a special song? Have a holly jolly Christmas. It's the best time of the year. See it?